Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back for some more Path of Exile. I have been uh, rather addicted to the Ultimatum League and this is actually my second character. Giving you guys a bit of a look on this one straight into maps. I've had an absolute blast leveling this one and I think it's pretty much the strongest one that I've ever created and it's really uh, what I was basically looking for when it comes to a minion build. Basically a one button playstyle. It's become a two button playstyle but more on that as we get going. Let's get straight into a map. I only just got into maps uh, so we're not that high level uh, but we've been making pretty good progress and uh, yeah the ultimatum uh, stuff is still pretty Pretty hard definitely died a couple of times but let's show you guys uh, how this character plays so this is obviously a golem monster elementalist but you can see here now we have a cyclone on the bar that's because this is what i do i just cyclone around and then you can see that everything just starts to blow up at a distance <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. That is because I have a uh, cost while channeling for the little uh, skulls. So raging spirits. Um, and those of course then blow up through the uh, mechanic or through the support gem of... Uh, what is it? Uh, Infernal Legion or something like that. So let's uh, take a quick look at this map. So far we basically held the right side border. So let's try to keep doing that. And a pack... Uh contains items anything absolutely nothing drops that's unfortunate but all i really have to do is press one button and everything happens on top of that now with the golem answer if uh, one of my golems were to go below 50 percent they would explode in a massive explosion as well and then four seconds later they would automatically respawn so you don't need to do too much management for those either and yeah we're just kind of shredding through most of this oh good to see a map uh, sustain has been rather hard so i will try to do every mob or almost every mob in this map uh, but this is really all I have to do. <laughs> just keep cycloning it up. And I'm just sending these little guided missiles out. Uh, superior. Yeah, I'll definitely take that in. So and then we're just sending these guided missiles out towards our targets. And a couple seconds later, they explode for yeah, a percentage of their... Um, of their HP through minion instability and then uh, the second button is like basically you know drop uh, drop the nuke drop uh, drop everything else that you get if you run into problems then I have uh, Val summon skeleton skeletons are also on a cost when damage taken so it just you know if we get into a little bit of trouble we start taking some damage we get immortal call we drop a couple of extra skeletons that also have burning legion and so they explode as well after a while just works nicely there you go you saw my immortal call proc and then you can see here there's two skeletons that just exploded as well so it's going quite well and so, well we did miss a passageway up there in the middle so probably have to keep going and then circle back towards that but I, I like this this was really something that I've been looking for like a play style where I don't have to like constantly dash around stop to cost my stuff uh, so this is just a one button uh, size fits all very very good even these rares right if they don't have good uh, fire resistance they just get murdered in a single explosion from time to time and here is the league mechanic all right let's go ruin because i can just move all the time works quite all right then we get monster slain and what i do tend to do is when i feel like all right here you know lots of yellows and i feel like i can spend the time we just drop the uh, Val Summon Skeletons. And so that's a superior gem here. Nothing too special, but we will keep going. Ruin, again, I'm just moving. Okay, I get a one Ruin on me, so I got to be a little bit careful. And then with the rework, look at that. We're already regaining souls, so we're just going to keep going. Do my little round here, still just at one. That's pretty good. And then some Parandus coins. Nope, don't want to stop my damage. Pretty good here, I think. Let's drop them and move on. <laughs> and all I really have to do is just make sure that we don't take too much damage. But yeah, my region is pretty good. A couple of uh, flaming skulls. Actually okay at this point. Let's do that. So there we go. They're sending out a missile after me. All right. I think here we could drop another... Summon skeletons, a scarab. Okay, I'll take that. I think ruin two is okay to take here. 
And just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Blobs and good explosions there. More stuff. Slay all these monsters. And the fact that I'm so mobile, you know, look at that, just avoiding all of these skulls. Oh, I do have to now get a little bit more careful with the ruin. Basically because I'm, I've been commentating as well that we are having some of these problems. And then we get a unique here. Let's not take extra ruin, let's just take uh, more skull stuff then. And I do have to be a little careful. Okay, still very busy here. Let's... Whoa, and then a big hit. That happens from time to time. I do still need to work a little bit on my defenses. There we go. Let's summon these skeletons. Clear more of that stuff. Alright, still slaying monsters. Good, good, good. Speed and damage. Speed and damage. There we go. Avoiding those big flames. And here we go. <laughs> Mechanic completed and honestly um, when it comes to survival timer and uh, this stuff um, Slaying monsters I can usually finish them I don't like the one where you basically have to hold uh, capture the flag hold a little circle there Those are pretty annoying. I mean they just can grow out of control uh, You know out away from your screen and all rush you blab you're you're done for that is a little bit annoying But this was pretty good. And then what's the ring all about? The ring is, all right, nothing too special, level 22, and this level 49, right, not that special either. So let's, let's keep going, let's go take a look at the boss if we can, but I think a big part here of my, of my feeling of this is, this is so much stronger is how easily I'm surviving, because I'm just always moving, I don't have to stop to, uh, to uh, cast any of my spells, everything is basically automated once I'm using Cyclone. So here you can see now, we're just still sending them out on the enemy. <coughs> I can just do another pass and uh, I'm actually using like the Curse Aura uh, in order to uh, whatever comes close takes extra elemental and fire damage. It's just potentially very, very big. Um, and yeah, I feel, I feel like it is working out quite nicely. So let's get this back down and then we'll have to go in the middle, I guess, to find the boss. So let's see if I can do that. Okay. More stuff here. Not a problem. Well, this is not where the boss is, so then I'll have to go all the way around. But uh, let's do a quick remaining. We've got 13 mon monsters remaining. I've been in here for less than five minutes. And yeah, we basically all I've done is, is uh, travel around the map while casting Cyclone. <laughs> and everything else then just gets blown up by these minions. This to me is the best feeling build that I've ever made. Um, I feel like it is actually very powerful. I can, I can definitely still improve my gear quite a lot. And uh, just such an ease of use. Once, you know, I started going through the league mechanic with... Uh, so there's the mobs and then there's the boss. Two bosses, in fact. So once I started going through the league mechanic with my regular minion build, it was like, all right, it's doing okay. But whenever I'm, I'm stopping, I can get chunked quite quickly and quite heavily. So I need to solve that. And this, this was basically my idea how to solve it. And look at that bosses just demolished in absolutely no time and this is uh, yeah, level 2 map granted that's absolutely uh, not very good but we're doing this on three ascensions and yeah I'm level 80 I am overpowering this uh, a little bit that is true uh, so I'll sell all of this stuff off screen but uh, let me quickly show you guys a little bit of how I built this it might be of interest some of you guys that are new and I think that this could be cool for you as well um, so I do have a six link in fact tabula rasa dropped very quickly for me so we've got summon raging spirit cast while channeling and then the cyclone and it's supported by minion damage inferno legion and minion life it's just you know as much uh, damage from the explosions as possible uh, then what else do i have here i do also run vitality so if i press control you get flame flame ability elemental weakness and vitality and uh, that i can run all of that pretty easily because i'm taking here um, increased area effect but also reduced reservation reduced reservation and reduced reservation and then of course what we're running is with uh, Karen golem because 
minions have extra life, right? 30,000, no, minions, yeah, have 30,000 life. So I think that's good. Minions deal 48% damage, that sounds pretty good as well. Then Stone Golem, that's for my life regen. Flame Golem, 48% um, damage, so that's pretty good as well. And then we also have the Chaos Golem, just uh, extra... 4% um, additional uh, physical damage reduction. So these gives you give you very big buffs, which are uh, increased by this note here, right? Golem Commander, and then of course in my Ascendancy, what did we go for as well? Legion to Primordial, Elemancer, uh, which g gives me basically immune to elemental aim ailments. They are immune to uh, elemental damage. They constantly respawn, and their buffs are uh, increased per summon Golem as well. So this really makes them super big buffs. I get three auras going, not a problem at all. And then I choose chose Bastion of the Elements for uh, its uh, defensibility. I'm just not sure if um, if uh, uh, Shaper of Flames is good or if I should perhaps look at Heart of Destruction. But it's when you hit a unique enemy, and I, I'm not sure that I'm actually hitting. Um, although with my with my Cyclone, I'm probably hitting, but. Overall, um, yeah, this this is the the character, second character I want to show you guys. Absolutely uh, loving loving this one. Probably gonna become like my my go to league starter uh, whenever uh, you know there's like a new league. This was super easy. My fastest run through the act as well. In fact, on just two. Uh, work week days after work I managed to get this guy uh, all the way into the maps which uh, is probably the faster that I've ever done and yeah once you got uh, you know level 38 you get a cyclones cost while channeling it's just you know you just start moving through everything get some boots with good uh, uh, movement speed and you just fly through everything without any real problem it's super fun for me uh, to have something like that and uh, this character I'll, I'll definitely play him a little bit more um, but it, he's still not completely ideal but it is the ideal play style for me personally so there you go that's my update for path of exile uh, what i've been working on you know not looking to do too much hardcore stuff but uh, definitely looking to improve this character a little bit more as well thank you very much for watching and as always i'll see you next time